Alright, let's uh, continue with this project and get some things to shoot. So we've got our lasers coming out, but we've not got anything to kill. So um, if you just jump onto um, Google again and try and find another spaceship, I'm going to choose this one. Um, again, this is, uh, I'll call it Enemy Ship, and I've saved it in the same place. Um, save image as, hopefully I did that. Try that again, Enemy Ship. Save that in the same place. There we go. So um, I found that um, ship that I'm going to use. I'm just going to double click on a space, choose Sprite, put it down, click open and then find the enemy ship and open. So um, we've uh, actually don't need to do the origin points. Um, pretty good but I'm going to just crop that so that it's a little bit tighter and I'm going to turn it um, round to the left so it's kind of facing my uh, bad guy so I'm just going to make this a heck of a lot smaller move that into position it's actually quite difficult to see against the black but we should be sweet should be alright um, now I'm just going to leave it there and we're going to uh, add some behaviours to that later but what we're looking for first is being able to just destroy this um, so what I'm going to do is um, if we click on the event sheet and we click on add event we're going to look at a collision between the enemy sprite and the laser so we're just going to start with the enemy sprite just double click again and we're going to say on collision with another object and it's just down um, down a little bit on the collisions um, events so I'm just going to choose that. It asks me for which object and I'm just going to say laser and say OK and then I'm going to click done. So that's the event when the enemy sprite is hit with the laser. I'm going to click add an action and we're just going to say that the enemy sprite is destroyed right now and you'll see in miscellaneous is destroy. Um, we're going to add a second action in here as well to destroy the laser. So I'm just going to choose laser and I'm just going to choose destroy as well. We don't want the laser to to kill like 10, 10 bad guys at the same time. So we've got two events under the same action. Um, if we uh, jump back to that and play it, you'll see that uh, we can move up and down, we hit the space bar and we just disappear, which is um, kind of rubbish. So um, what we're going to do is look um, at how to add animations from sprite sheets. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, quickly go through the whole process. So I'm going to type in explosion sprite sheet and then um, you should see you get these under the images tab you get these ones where there's lots and lots of different images one after the other it doesn't really matter which one you pick as long as when you highlight it it's got like a the the checkerboard background and um, the checkerboard background um, kind of confirms that it's a uh, it's actually a um, it's a PNG image so that you won't have any of the black background when we create this so um, that's as good as any I'm just going to click save image as and I'm going to call it explosion and save it on the desktop again um, now to use it what we're going to do is just set, set it up so I'm just going to quickly double click and insert the sprite again um, this time what we're actually going to do is we're going to um, insert it as a sprite sheet as a bunch of as an animation so we've got a zero uh, frame animation here this is where we insert our animations we could load up the image but we're um, we're just going to just go straight to this so we're going to add frames but we're going to import them from a sprite sh a sprite strip um, you'll see that we've got this sprite strip and it's really important that you know how many across and how many down you have so mine's is one two three four five across and one two three four five down and um, that's really important because the very next box asks me how many across and how many down so I already counted that it was five and it was five and I'm just gonna say replace the entire animation and say ok um, so what I've got is a bunch of these um, images that will get played one after the other. The, the question is how fast will they play, so how do we control this animation? So if we click on, um, there's a window when you open up the image editor called animations and right now it's a default animation over here. If you click on it you'll see its properties on the left hand side of the screen. Um, the speed here is set to 5 and the loop is to no. So we don't want this one to loop, it's not like a, it's a running animation or something, it's just like an explosion that plays once. Um, 
and then I'm going to make the speed quite a bit faster. I'm going to make that up to 25 so that it's a nice fast explosion. Um, after closing this, you'll see we get this uh, this box here, and if I leave it on in front of the um, in front of the player, and we press play, um, you'll see it's quite a cool explosion effect. And what we want to do is we want to when we kill this bad guy, this um, enemy, we want to replace it with the um, explosion. So I'm going to close that again. Go back to our construct to click on here, and I'm going to put these. I'm going to make them bigger actually, because big, nice, big explosion will be awesome. I'm going to leave it off the side of the screen, and then go to my event sheet. So um, this is called Sprite 2. Terrible name. Let's change it again to Explosion, so I can find it a lot easier on my event sheet. So we've got the event already. We've got this where the sprite is hit by the laser. Um, we're already destroying the bad guy and we're already um, making the uh, laser destroy as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to get, we're going to add an action for this sprite because this is the the position um, that the thing was, the, the enemy is when it was hit. So we'll say that sprite is going to spawn another object and uh, just like we did with the lasers. Um, the object we're going to spawn is the explosion and we're going to do it on layer 1 and leave image point at 0. We've not set any specific image point um, for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you play this what you'll have is um, you'll be able to make a massive big explosion every time you hit them. So uh, it's almost a game. Um, what we'll do in the next video is just create some uh, some behaviours for the enemies and start spawning them in randomly and maybe even add some scores so that we're able to make it into a bit more of a game now.